Hey, Bruce here. Today we're going to do a review of the Spec Ops Tool Levels. Um, most all of you out there, if you're professionals and do this daily, I'm a builder, I actually use the tools I review and I use them daily. Um, if you're a professional, you probably use a certain brand that we all own. Um, it's yellow and it's very popular uh, for professionals and we all have them and I have a ton of them. Um, when I saw this on Amazon, I thought, uh, just by the looks of the pictures, it looked cool, but you know, a lot of times things look cool, but you get them and not so much. Um, so I thought I'd give it a try. And I'll tell you what, they are every bit of what my other levels are. And I absolutely love them. Um, for a number of things, these are becoming, these are gonna be, gonna be becoming my new favorite go-to levels. I'm a big guy, big hands, and I love how they have this raised ridge on here um, for grabbing. <clears throat> um, and it's, you know, most levels have something, a little something like that. This has a nice little raised ridge. So it's very durable has a, a nice wide um, foot on it. Uh, so that's uh, really nice. My, I got all the magnetic ones. Um, here I got the uh, little guy as well. This, uh, they spare no quality, even in the littlest guy right here. So that's a perfect for setting tile and stuff. And you're doing your slopes on your um, niches and, and just little stuff like that. This, this guy works great. Um, one thing I'll show you that I really like about this is they just simple things I thought about is if you're a professional and you use this stuff daily, you want um, all your bubbles to be completely encapsulated, no gap underneath them because that's where stuff migrates underneath them and then they get dirty and they're a pain in the butt to work with. This has a 360 degree bubble, which means that when you flip it upside down, if you look at your levels, even our uh, professional branded ones that we all use, if you look up here, the bubble is right tight to the bottom. Here, there's a gap underneath there. So even upside down and looking at an angle, you can see that bubble really, really well. Um, also, what they've done is you see on here, they put a uh, two lines there. That's a 2% slope, which is a quarter inch per foot. So when you're doing plumbing or uh, concrete work, um, you have an uh, easy uh, quarter inch per foot built right into this thing. So you can kind of look at that and see that if you split that bubble in half or that line in half, then you'd be able to have an eighth inch per foot. So you could actually use these things like that, which is really cool. One thing they've done and they uh, made a big point of is this bayonet feature where you can take this line off of here and strap it around a two by four or any other type of uh, thing you're installing. So if you've got something that's not magnetic, and you're trying to put it up, it's this thing, you can strap that thing right back to itself like that, both sides. And then as you're setting whatever it is in place, you can get it placed and your hands free and you can level it just like that. So that is a pretty slick setup. Um, <clears throat> one thing I'm excited about is these will be great for general construction of any sort. However, I do a lot of concrete, I do a lot of tile, grout, um, and I would not use these for my grout levels or, or concrete work because inevitably this thing would get filled up with concrete. And now we all try to do our best to keep our levels clean, but you know how that goes, you're tiling, you're setting tile, you get thin set dries on there because you're busy about your tile, you're pouring concrete, your things are level, you get a little bit of concrete splatter on there and they get cleaned up later. So again, that's why it's important to have a sealed um, bubble area, but also this area here, I would prefer um, prefer a solid level like I know I'm used to using for that purpose. So I would look forward to seeing them come out with a line of levels I just identical without this bayonet feature, which is a really cool feature for a lot of things. But um, for those specific instances, we're worried about um, thin sets and concretes and grouts and all that. We don't have to worry about um, messing this whole end up here. This is a 24 inch level. You do sacrifice about an inch on each side. So about two inches overall on a, uh, solid form here. So this is about 22 inches of solid level here. If you put these together, um, this here sits off of this, this rubber part sits off here about a 32nd of an inch if I had to guess. Probably, um, if I had to guess, the reason for that is expansion contraction. This is a nice heavy rubber coating. It's durable. It's uh, nice and uh, uh, shock resistant. I love that feature about it. But I imagine for expansion and contraction, they kept these a little tiny bit shy of the dimension of this, just so it didn't uh, mess up uh, or impede the level itself. So you're giving up about two inches to have this bayonet feature on each uh, level like that, which it's not a big deal here nor there, unless that two inches makes all the difference for you. 
Um, but anyway, overall, I'm really, really thoroughly happy with these levels. Um, they're going to go right in my arsenal. I'll be using them all the time for all my normal interior work and stuff I do. Um, I'm remodeling all my rentals right now. Um, so anyway, just an excellent product. Nice, heavy um, hand grip, rubberized, coated, just slip resistant, nice, heavy magnets. Um, no problem with the magnetic feature on them. I really, really like them. So anyway, these are going to be my new go-to levels for a lot of stuff. I tell you what, I would go completely this direction um, if they have just a solid level without the bayonet feature. So I know I haven't seen those on your website. That would be a good addition to your line, and I'd be getting those as well. Um, by the way, once I got my first level in the mail, I, the quality was blew me away. And so I looked up the website, and they have a lot of great tools. Really cool. Um, two veterans um, decided to go to the market with uh, really high-end quality tools for a reasonable price compared to what we pay for a lot of our um, high-end tools. And the nice thing about it is they support our vets. They give 3% back to the, the first responders and our military vets. So an awesome cause altogether. Um, a lot of times when you have causes like that, you get kind of chintzy stuff. This is full on professional um, equipment in my opinion. And I, I, I like it better than my stuff I've been using and we all have. Um, so anyway, um, I hope that review helped you guys. Um, real world user here again. And uh, these are really awesome levels. So. Um, you guys have a blessed day and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.